Leave a like and subscribe in the next 3.2 seconds or this delinquent will wake up in your bed. I know I'm not taking any chances. Alright, so in today's video, we're going to be experimenting with custom crosses I went ahead and made to see if it will improve my aim or give me some sort of humanized aimbot or see if it will change my gameplay in any way. I've made seven different crosses, so let me know which one you guys think is the best. Alright, so this is the normal crosser, the default crosser, but with a click of a button, we now have a custom crosser. So let's see how it performs. Or at least how I perform with it. Not bad. This this crosser definitely stands out a lot more than the default one because the default one doesn't really, you know, have any thickness. Hey, you got him. One pixel wide, but this one definitely uh, is one of the thicker ones that I've made. Usually on other games, I'd go for like a smaller and thinner crosshair, but that was crosshair number one and that felt pretty good. All right, this is custom crosshair number two. It's a smaller and thinner one, but it's also green. By the way, I'm not judging these crosshairs based on my performance of like, you know, the score and how quick I win or anything like that. It all just comes down to visual appearance of which one you guys think, you know, visually looks better. But everyone has their own preference. I prefer this one to the first one, to be fair. That was custom crosshair number two and visually that looks so much better and I feel like that's so much easier to hit targets with. Alright, so this is custom crosshair number three. It's just like number two but it has a bit more of a gap radius in the middle so you can actually see the targets a little bit more and try and aim for the head. I wish you could turn off the uh, arsenal crosshair so I can like, you know, see the uh, custom crosshair on its own. Or do like a no crosshair only challenge and stuff like that would be a lot of fun. Here's some of the Barret. I think that was him. I'm getting overwhelmed by players, dude. This is crazy. So many players just rush me. I see you, dude. What are you doing? He ran into my crosser. <laughs> so that was crosser number three. Similar to number two, really. You know, it didn't really make much difference. You know, it's very, very similar. It just has a mo bit more of a gap radius in the middle. Uh, still prefer number two so far. Crosser number four is a small white one. So uh, this should be interesting. Usually I do go for smaller crosshairs. Whoa. What up, dude? Nice. The bomb behind me, they have to be. Yeah. I really enjoyed that crosser. That was definitely a lot more visually appealing. I think that is on par, but it's either between two and four so far. All right, crosser number five is a small red one with no gap radius. So let's see how this one, uh, let's see how this one is. I don't usually go for red crossers because it blends in the map too much. You know, there's like red on the map, you know, blends with the orange. And it also blends in with Material Man. If, they, if they're if they on red team Material Man, you cannot see him. 
It has a black stroke around it anyway, so it does uh, stand out a little bit. Oh my gosh, he just could not hit a shot with that MG. Decent crosshair, I just wasn't really a fan of the red, but you know, a small zero gap radius crosshair is pretty decent. It's usually what I enjoy the most, you know, on other FPS games, you know, a smaller crosshair, light blue. Um, it just kind of stands out the most for me, and I can usually hit my shots better with it. Um, so I think, like, this one is the most visually appealing to me, but uh, we'll see if it, like, affects my Arsenal gameplay or... The guy right here, yeah. He is. Keep coming out. Hello. There we go. Dude, they're like, they're like zombies, bro. Cross has been my favorite so far. Just the same as the one I just used, but this time it's green. Because I just wanted to see, you know, if a green crosser would feel any sort of difference. Um, but yeah, let's uh, try it out. Nice headshot, brother. So out of using all the crosshairs, the last two were definitely my favorite, you know, smaller condensed crosshairs with a black stroke around it. And, you know, to answer the question, you know, does it improve your gameplay? Does it improve your aim? No, it does not. You know, it just makes the game look a little bit more visually appealing, a little bit different. Because I'm so used to the standard Arsenal crosshair, it is a lot more refreshing to look at something else, you know, change the crosshair up a little bit. It does not improve your aim. It doesn't improve your gameplay. That all comes down to you as an individual player, not your crosshair. But thank you guys so much for watching this video if you did enjoy be sure to give a like on the video subscribe if you're new tell us notifications and i'll see you in the next one